Now uh, memory, but a uh, crisis again part two. Now on the PlayStation side, the PS4 is a good system. It's a good solid system. I recommend it for anybody who wants to save a hundred dollars, and anybody who wants to spend for a gigantic kill box. <laughs> Figure out five hundred kill box. Now you don't need to spend any more money. Um, <clears throat> it's a good solid system. It's it, it, as tough as they come. Can't find a better system we have right now. Try to stick with it. Um, like I said, better graphics to me. Better gameplay. The, the controllers changed a lot. It's a lot thicker since it, and on the sides. Easier to handle. The thumbsticks are good. The flopper, the flopper sticks, flappers are actually a little more curved. So they actually feel like, like they're real. And not some plot thing, plot thing you're going to break if you press too hard on them. Like on the PS3 and PS2. They felt like you're going to break those damn things when you press on them too hard. These felt these felt great. Uh, I, I, you know, um, I love the fact that uh, both systems have the HDMI cable, but the, HDMI, the PS4 uh, doesn't come with a camera. If my one does, I may one maybe down the line they'll have a camera with their PS4 systems when they you know launch more out with combo units or what combo you know, combo units. But right now. Camera spammer. You really can't find one out anyway, so don't worry about it. Um, the pros are it has a good library of games. Con is the library of games are mostly third party games. There's a couple games for it on only on PlayStation, but not a lot. Um, Killzone's good, but it has its mixed reviews. The best one I like to play is Battlefield 4. It looks better on on the four, obviously. So sixty four players, total chaos. Both systems have sixty four players. But sixty four players are a lot better on the PS four, I believe. Um, you gotta pay the play now, PlayStation Four. If if you got a three and you have you love Battlefield three on about four on three, stay on a three. Don't go over to four and get sixty four players. Um, because you have to pay to play online. Um but the good thing is, though, if you have next spot, if you have a PlayStation Network account, of course you will. You have to have to have one if you're online playing Battle Four, uh, and you and, 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 and your password, you, you can have your account move over to the Four, and, 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 if, you, and if you have PlayStation Plus, like I did, it'll immediately carry over, and you'll be instantly unlocked to multiplayer, regardless, you know. So, um, updates are a few in between, but I had to. Um, Please note when you're playing Battle Four, if you don't buy the game directly, the, the PS4 disc of it, and you buy the digital copy with the with the PS3 version, pop it into the uh, drive to the uh, to the um, DVD driver. You, you will be waiting about an hour or two. I wait about I wait about two and a half hours to download, digitally download. Uh, I, I digitally install the game. Downloading was simple. The installment took about two and a half hours. I don't know if it, maybe if it was slow. It was slow, or it's just, you know. But it looks amazing. The game is amazing. So that extra time it took was okay. I mean, the pro con with the, and the con was just to, to, the the problem with con was it, 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 to, it took two and a half hours to get the damn game on. You know, get the game on, and I had, had to reload all my stuff back up. My <clears throat> my uh, premium had downloaded and unload that up. Download my, my, my premium, my China Rising that I got when I first got the game anyway, and PlayStation 3 because I got I bought the game, I pre-ordered the game. Um, just note though that some of the maps that you may not get. Uh, Air's, Premier, um, Air's Premiority is only through that uh, um, China Rising with the. Uh, um, but, um, Capture flag at the map pack I haven't got yet, uh, or I haven't re I haven't even re uh, downloaded it yet, so I have to go back in there and check it myself. Um, uh, the party chat's good. It's it, it's it's not subtle. It's 100 percent boom. You're in. You're in a party. You're in fun talking with friends online. I'm playing with people who are playing NBA, 2K, playing people playing people playing Killzone Shadowfall. Playing somebody, playing somebody who's playing a, a PS3 game, a PS3, but has his uh, PS4 hooked in, and he's just chatting with us. Uh, that's a good pro. The con is, though, it should have came out earlier for PlayStation, but I knew it probably wasn't going to happen because PlayStation 3 was not very 
uh, applicable for it. They updated a lot of stuff for it, but it wouldn't have held that. Um, their prawn pro is their uh, their con is there's a couple more cons here, or one more con. The place the network went down unexpectedly yesterday. I can log in and place and go place the network, but I couldn't log in to go with my friends. So there's times where place network will crash down a little bit. So get ready for it. If you buy it brand new, if you can't play Shadowfall or Killzone online or Call of Duty online, don't 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 don't, don't hate. Just start the campaign. Well, I'll, I'll wait a little while because sometimes it will clear up and it did for me. Uh, I'll later on that in the day, especially when kids are off now and the kids are off and running around and going totally cag now. You know, when they ain't bugging them, you know, when they ain't, tor you know, when they ain't tormenting their, you know, their parents, they're online, place network, going crazy on place network. So, just keep that in mind, uh, while you're doing that, while you're playing that, while you're actually taking that consideration of buying a place before, I highly, I highly, highly, highly recommend one over the Xbox One any day. Uh, since the fact that the debt party chat works real well and the voice chat system you just tell you, you know, like, you know, 15 seconds just like an, if you've been an Xbox like me for a long period of time, you know what I'm talking about you send a message, you can text it or you can send a text and a voice message just like the Xbox 360 hey Larry do you want to play Call of Duty later on or hey, uh, we have a clan hey, uh, we have a clan meeting here in 15 minutes or whatever I'm just, you know, I'm just giving you examples of what you can say. Hey, how's that new Call of Duty game, Battle 4, 4 game going up for you? And you can join a party at any moment, and it's pretty good. So, that's pretty really good. The cons are, yeah, they should have had it earlier. They didn't, so, you know, it, it, you know, it goes without saying that, that you know, you're going to have problems anyway. It doesn't matter what you do, what you say. Somebody's not, somebody's not going to like it. One way or another. That's how it goes. And that's it. Uh, my review, uh, the review points are in. For the Xbox One, I give 1 to 10, 1 from 0 being bad, 10 being great. I give it a 6. And, and, and that's not an official one, that's just my opinion right now. It's 6 out of 10. It's a little above half, but it's a 60%. It's, it's not good enough right now to. So yeah, you, you can go out and buy one unless you're going to buy it for TV. Um, and the voice recognition crap. Other than that, I wouldn't even buy one. Cause, because it's a gigantic waste of money. In my opinion. But same thing goes for the PS4. I give it a 7 out of 10. So that's a 70 percent Because it's better, it's more solid. Couple issues, but... Uh, buy a protection plan. With 30 days you buy it. I buy both systems. If you buy a brand new both systems, buy the extended warranty for like for the for the PS4 it's fifty nine dollars uh, for accidental damage. I don't know how much it's gonna be for the X one, but you'll find out when you get down down that road. <coughs> um two two notes is that the Xbox One's more cluttier than PS4 is when it comes to the main screen. PS4, in my opinion, it's a lot more easier to navigate. It has everything what it needs to be and nothing what it should be. And you can open and close apps as you, we feel. Where on the Xbox, you're kind of stuck with them. Yeah, you can move them to my pens, but you can't close them out. And reopen them as you will. So, that's a problem. And the uh, uh, tweaker or tweaker or whatever you call it, uh, download system where you can download live streaming games. It's only available on PlayStation 4 right now, network right now. And it won't be available for Xbox probably for about a year or two. They're, they're thinking six months, I'm thinking a little longer than six months, I'm thinking about a year and a half. Because their Xbox right now having trouble with all their disk drives. So I'm assuming, I'm thinking, and they're not going to rush it and get you know, engage with everybody to go online to look at people's games when they can't go online and play a game in the first place. Because I got a disk drive ain't working. Unless you can digitally download all the games to your console. And then it's going to chew up a lot. It's going to chew up a lot of, it's going to chew up a lot of that 500 gigs. Uh, both of them are 500 gigs, so either. Did our our problem? They are con with the X with PS4 is that uh, the voice commands can be kind of kind of clunky. 
but a lot more easier to use than people telling me than than the Xbox One is. It's like you have PlayStation, and then, then and, uh, you know you say PlayStation uh, on your mics, and it'll say topic on the bottom. And you say one of those, and, and then the action happens. But please note, if you have the pulses, the non-pulse Elite 7.1s, it will not work on the PS4 until the patch comes in. But on the bottom of on the bottom of the controllers, uh, there's a uh, regular you know headphone jack. If you have a 7.1 Elite, like I have, and you plug that into there, uh, it's um, that that cord comes for comes with for the Vita. But you can use it with the PS4 controller, and it's Bluetooth because uh, the controller itself is Bluetooth. Compared to the Xbox One, it's not Bluetooth. This thing is Bluetooth. So what it means is it's connected to everything connected to sound. And there's a small little uh, small little uh, uh, headphone there or speaker on the controller that has sound coming to it. Games like uh, some Call of Duty, mostly going to be for kills on games like that. Only for PlayStation games. Um, and when you plug that in and plug it into your 7.1 uh, elites, not standard pulse elites, like 150 bucks, uh, there was a price, price when I bought mine, and you pop it in, the sound goes through the whole thing, and it shakes vibrates too. So it is powered by that controller, and that may run the battery down a little bit, so you might want to have to. Uh, be careful about the battery life of it, uh, and also if you if you keep the if you keep the the, the charge cord plug in, you get a mm, hissing sound on the other end of your conversations. I found that out a couple of days ago. So, um, but standby mode is good for the PS4 if you want to charge stuff at night. To say play it in standby, or a press down on the PlayStation button, it'll go to shut off or standby, click standby and it'll go to a, 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 to a yellow light to orange yellow light and, um, blue light's bad, white light's good, the white light just means it's power working and it's fine um, but the headphones will not work for it, uh, um, unless they're elite 7.1 and you have that little cable that came with it for the Vita uh, you use that into your um, PlayStation 4 uh, that had a controller the bottom of the controller, pop it in, pop it in the, on, on the bottom of the uh, 7.1, and talk to people just like normal. If you have a P, if you have a 360, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, trust me, it works fine. <laughs> the vibration's still the same. Uh, sounds just as good because it's all Bluetooth anyway, but it's going through the uh, jack, it's going through the controller, going through the system. Uh, your TV sound will be muted out automatically because of that reason. So. Not a bad thing to have, but that's my review. Oh, I'll play this inside review. Please check back later on for new more reviews, insights, leave comments. Hit once again, hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want to, don't have to, but I'll leave comments in the bottom. I'll try to get back with you guys as soon as I can and see what I can help you guys out with or any questions. I can do some different types of uh, reviews and research on stuff for you. Thank you, have a nice day, a blessed day. See you on the battlefield on the PlayStation 4.